What up YouTube, it's your boy Sabio, back at it again with another reaction video. Today we are going to be doing True Giants, or True Damage Giants, excuse me, again. Except this time we are going to be doing the live version from the opening ceremonies of, what is it called? Opening ceremonies presented by MasterCard from the 2019 World Championship Finals. Y yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I already told you guys in the last video, I don't play League, so I, I didn't watch this, but I am doing the live version this time. I already reacted to the music video, which you guys seem to really enjoy. I gave a pretty like in-depth analysis of the music as well as the video itself in that. So in this one, I'm probably going to be focusing more on the performance itself and not just the song because i mean i've already told you guys about the song i'm interested to see how they bring all of this together so let's get into this and see what you guys got for me peace Okay, so it it looks like, from what I can tell, and if I'm wrong, again, correct me down in the comment section below, but it looks like that's a hologram. Like, that's, I think you guys said his name was Echo. He's actually there on stage, kind of in a similar way to what they do for Hatsune Miku. Uh, if you guys know who, you guys are gamers, you'll, you'll know who that is. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's dope, and that technology is, like, dumb expensive, so, um, somebody was really putting in the money to this performance already, and I rock with that. That looks like Th Thutmos, is I think how you say his name, there with him. So, the hologram is huge, like, really big, which makes sense because it looks like they're in an arena, some type of stadium, and everybody wants to see what's going on on stage. <laughs> My pauses will be better this time than last time because now I know the song well enough to know pause here. Pause here. Pause here. I got you. First off, Echo, I think his name. Static Shock. He is a ninja. Period. Point blank period. We saw him do Shadow Clone Jutsu in the last video. Now he's defying gravity by walking upstairs. Like, he's a ninja. We anyone who's seen Naruto, which you should have all seen Naruto, what have you been doing with your life? Knows he is using ninja techniques right now. Also, tech team. Tech team. My boys and girls. Beautiful, beautiful, like so good. Also, it looks like they are, some of the hologram sections are also of, at least in, in for this part, the artist as well. And that is genius. I don't know if they pre, like if you have to pre-film them doing, probably, cause like obviously like he wasn't actually walking up those digital hologram steps. So they probably pre-filmed sections of the artist performing or at least the most performing this section of the song and like flipped them and had them performing sideways on a hologram staircase and that is such a cool thing to do that adds to the performance now onto the performance he seemed out of breath. You heard it, I heard it. But again, I don't want you guys to kill him because, I mean, it happens. He had a very complex and pretty quick verse, quick as in fast delivery, which means there are very small opportunities to breathe in there, to actually, you know, take in air, to be able to expel out sound. So when your adrenaline is pumping and you're on a stage in front of an arena of people, sometimes you miss those opportunities to get your breath and now, you know, the next section comes out breathy, but 
That's okay. I'm not gonna kill him for that because it happens. We're humans. Our talking hole and our breathing hole is the same hole. No one can stop us, they'll try, but they You guys aren't gonna like this. I I don't I, I don't like that section, and and here's why. Whoa, 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 whoa! Before you go disliking the video, hear me out. Why is the backing track so loud? Why? Sound people, I just I just got done sucking off the tech section. Sound people, what are you doing? Like any person who is taking any type of sound engineering for performances know that the crowd wants to hear the people perform. I want to hear Becky and Kiki, Becky and Kiki, perform their sections. These women can sing. No, they can sign. They can really sing. You don't have to drown them out with the studio version. We know that that sounds good, and we know that that will sound different than live vocals, and that's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect in the actual live performance. That's a part of a live performance. I think... That was an overcompensation for Thutmose being breathy in his section. But both of them weren't moving. Kiki was standing there like a goddess on the steps, belting out her section. And Becky was sitting on that like chakram looking weapon thing, which I'm assuming is the weapon for the character. Just like her character was in the actual video, they, these women can sing. Like, I don't know if you realize, just like you get paid to engineer performances, they get paid to sing. Let them sing, let us hear them sing, and please, please do not drown them out. Like, even if you're going to have a backing track for vocals, that's fine, that happens all the time. If these women aren't sick and have the flu, which happens and performers do have to perform while still being sick, if they aren't sick, let them sing. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like those little, like, I don't, I don't, they're like shapes. I don't know if they're like energy particles or what, but that are flying through the little chakra weapon that I was talking about before. Those are matched up with the 808s in the background, the, the base for people who don't know what 808s are. So good, like so, so good. Small little things like that add to the performance so much. Again, tech guys, I'm loving you so much. Also, sound guys, I will say, you did turn the backing track down some so far for Becky's rapping, which, it's rapping. Like, come on, dude. Like, we don't, if you're gonna have the backing track loud, do it on the rapping, not the singing. Like, ah. <laughs> Yeah, I know I said the pause was gonna be better, but just let yeah, give me a break. Okay. Um one, those holograms are definitely there because she just interacted with her character. Two, they're now introducing background dancers, which makes sense. K-pop stars, K-pop idols are known for being great dancers. Three, her stage presence is already in in 10 seconds of her being on stage, already the best stage presence of the group so far. Now, two of the people who are on stage weren't even moving, and one of them was a hologram half the time, but still, great stage presence, which makes sense because K-pop idols go through years of boot camp on how to become, you know, literal musical and performing gods and goddesses, but before they do anything, this is why I paused here, I'm curious if, if this is going to turn into like a dance break section, if they're going to add choreography to this, or if everyone is still just gonna kinda chill while their avatars or their characters or whatever you wanna call them are dancing by them. That would be pretty weird considering they're introducing background dancers, but again, the last three performers didn't really dance. So yeah, we'll see.
Oh, some something's about to happen because that looks like the little samurai guy. Not little, you know, you know what I'm saying. What some his name starts with a Y. I don't play this game. Give me a break, please. Okay, what was the point of the background dancers? Like why? Mm. Very curious because you have three women on stage who all can dance very well, and you have the backing track vocals up so loud that even if they are breathy, we're not gonna notice that much anyway. With the exception of Becky, like it seems like Becky's. Mike is up the loudest of all of them? I don't know. It's, it's weird. Why did you bring a bunch of people on stage, all of whom can dance, all of those dancers are professional dancers, and those three all can dance? Why did they just do this? Like, why not unleash them? Let them perform. Like, right now, they're singing, but they're not performing. And... Um, Soyan, so I don't know how to say her name, dude. I'm, yeah. just tell me how to say it and I'll, I'll try to do it in the future. But for this segment, she's going to be Soyan. Soyan, she tried to make the most of like her little section and, you know, she was bopping and giving it to you and, you know, but fire the choreographer because their choreography was clearly stand here, walk to X, stand there do this three times and walk off stage which these women can dance let them okay now let's see what happens with this that's dope that's really really dope like the, the you you know, the, bruh, bruh, that was sick. I could see, like, the actual dancers kind of, like, trying to crawl off stage in the background as the tornado goes by and their hologram selves are, you know, wrecked. I don't know if whatever he called out, if, if that's, like, his finishing move. This, this probably has to do with the game in some way that I'm not, like, picking up on. Again, sorry, guys, I, music... And anime is my nerdy outlet, not gaming. So tell me if, what this is, but regardless, that was that was dope. That was that was really dope. Like the the visuals on this is is making it for me. The the sound guys are getting on my nerves so far, and the choreographer it's kind of pointless at this point. So far, it, it could change later, but so far, choreographer is kind of pointless. But the visual guys, bro, the the effects team. Best part of the performance, hands down. Oh, the K-pop fans are not going to like that. Oh, oh well. Eh, I don't care. That was great. Period. His delivery was great. Now, his his rap, like his actual verse, bridge, whatever you want to call it, his rapping is less technical than Thutmos, and he was moving less. Like, he wasn't actually physically jumping around uh, as much as Thutmos, but his delivery was clean and powerful. The effects, dude, oh my god. Like, I know you guys are going to be mad that I'm going off on the effects so much, but like, your eyes work. You see in this. Come on now. Like, that was beautiful. Come on. The, the, oh, uh, what is it? The running man, running man, running man section where he like teleports like back and forth. Oh, oh, so good. I also noticed that they only did the hologrammed, like pre-recorded version of the actual performers with the rappers. I don't know if that has something to do with them both doing the same character and if that has to relate to Echo in some way. If so, tell me probably the clone thing that i've been you know eh, shout out clone jizu um i just answered my own question but oh that was so good so so good oh oh that was an eyegasm jesus <laughs>
I'm impressed. I mean, I know I've been giving giving the whole performance a hard time, but hey, that's kind of my job. But I'm impressed. That was that was really great. Yeah, that was that was really good. Like really, really good. Again, same gripes. I had the whole performance, choreographer, pointless. I could have told them to do this, which is literally the only dancing that anyone did the entire performance, which is fine, but I mean, don't hire 300 dancers to be on stage if you're not going to let them dance. Oh, uh, somebody got it out for my girl Kiki because at the end, she ran off a monster run that you saw and you could kind of hear, but not really. And um, why? Out of everyone there, her mic was clearly the lowest. I mean, the most was in the back going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could hear that more clearly than her singing. So the hell. But other than that, the performance was visually stunning. It was immaculate. And it was really cool. The hologram work that they did, you know, bringing in the characters while also having the, perform the performers perform. And also letting people know like, hey, this person is representing this character, this person is representing that character. Yeah, it was just cool. Overall, it was really enjoyable to watch. This video is gonna end up being super long. So I'm not gonna talk too much here at the end, but I really enjoyed that. And I will definitely be tuning in for whatever their next big tournament is to see what other great music they have and what other great videos they end up making. So if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.